Welcome everyone to Dating in Disguise, because sometimes love is just a matter of luck. I'm Johnny LaQuasto. Here at Dating in Disguise, we take dreadful date possibilities and the phrase bad date to a whole new disaster dating level. Now our dater is going to have a choice between three dates, an actual person, two zonker dates, or taking the cash prize of a thousand dollars. Now with that said, it's time to meet our three contestants for the evening. First up, we have a half-eaten container of cheese balls from the movie night I had at my apartment last night. It's a duplex. Cheese ball, how are you tonight? I'm great, John. How are you? Excellent. Are you excited to be here? So excited. Oh, you sure sound like you are. Up next, we have a lovely lady. She is a Pilates instructor, actress, and part-time massage therapist from Manhattan, the lovely Sophia. Sophia, how are you tonight? Hello, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Well, I'm great. The question is, are you ready to possibly meet your mate? The answer is yes. I am super excited. All right, outstanding. And now our third contestant is the life of every party. We picked it up at a garage sale last week. It is a pinata. Miss Pinata, what's up? I'm feeling good. Excellent. All right. Well, we now have the three contestants. Our dater is going to have no clue what's coming at him. So with that said, let's bring him out. He is from Atlanta. He loves surfing. He loves skateboarding. And he's also a sales rep for a clothing line. Please give it up for Blair, everybody. Welcome to the show. What's up? How's How going? are you, sir? Looking good, man. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Excited. You yeah. I'm pumped. I think this is it. There are three eligible contestants on the other side of this curtain. It's now time for you to ask question number one. Contestant number two. It's our third year together as a couple, and we're pretty serious about Valentine's Day, but do you still do something big for me? Of course, of course, of course. I love you already. I mean, if we're together for that long, I mean, all I would do is just shower you with rose petals and kisses. That's, I love rose petals. Pretty intense, contestant number two. <laughs> And a little Pilates. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank Gotta you. Gotta get that in. Contestant number three, you've forgotten to bring me a gift for our Valentine's Day date. Ooh, you realize this after ringing the doorbell. What do you do? Well, I would probably um, reach down into my pocket full of candy, because I always have candy inside me. And I, I'll reach down and I'll, I'll pull out a couple chocolates just for you. You like chocolate? Yeah, I love chocolate. Yay. Very sweet. Contestant number two, I'm not much for going out. I like home cooked meals. You're a Pilates instructor. What kind of meal would you make for me? Very healthy. It keeps your abs very flat. And, 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 but the thing is, is I love to cook with olive oil and love. Sounds like the kind of girl you might want to bring home to mom. I know, absolutely. Yeah. Contestant number three, you realize I'm not quote unquote the one for you the day before Valentine's Day. Do you break up with me or do you stick it out until after the holiday? Well, I guess the question is, do I go to another party with you or I stick it out? Is that what you're saying? Because, you know, I have, tend to be like the center of attention. And, you know, if I can't be the center of attention, then um, this is not going to work. It just isn't. I just want to hit you with a bat. Uh, oh, wow. Well, like contestants, that. please calm down. We'll let, lay off the friskiness Sorry, right now. sorry, sorry. All right, Blair, we have time for one more question. Choose the question and ask the contestant. All right, this one's back to contestant number one. I don't think you'd do this, but by the chance that you would forget to bring me a gift on Valentine's Day and you've already rang the doorbell, what do you do? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to sound cheesy, but I think that Valentine's Day is really more about you and I than, you know, about gifts. And I really just, I hope that you'd forgive me. I'd, I'd tell you the honest truth. And um, I hope that you'd just be happy with the wonderful evening we have together. I think that might be an angel over there. Right? All right, with that said, the three contestants have given their answers. Blair, it's now time for you to choose which contestant will be your ultimate date. Two. Wow, that Hands was down. quick, right two. away, yeah. two. All right, well, before you meet contestant number two, let's find out who you do not get to go on a date with. We have the half-eaten container of cheese balls. Sorry that you missed out on the date, but we'll come in handy for you. He is also not going on a date with the piñata. A party, at any occasion, just pet the piñata. <laughs> it feels good. It's, you look fantastic together. It's such a great company. All right, Blair, it's now time for you to meet Sophia from Manhattan. Oh my god. She oh. is a Pilates instructor and actress, Annie Masseuse. Clearly, we have a physical connection here. 
<laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you never know what's going to happen on Dating in the Skies. Like we always say, don't be afraid to put yourself out there because sometimes love is just a matter of luck. We will see you next time.